to turn now to an award-winning writer with a new book that's become a conversation starter. It's called Of Blood and Sweat, Black Lives and the Making of White Power and Wealth, a history about how the wealth of white Americans and the institutions we have today were built on black labor. Author Clyde W. Ford joins us now. Welcome and thanks for being with us. You say you went back to your senior thesis for this book. This has been a long time coming. Why now? Can you believe that, Amy? I went back to my senior thesis almost 50 years ago in college. And I think the why now was simply at the ending of the panic. I didn't have anything to do. I was locked in my home. I'm a writer. And I thought to myself, now is the time. This was actually before some of the unfortunate police killings of George Floyd and Ahmed Arbery and Breonna Taylor. But I just decided this is the time to write this book I've been thinking about for so long. And my God, it just landed at an incredible cultural and social moment. And this moment, um, we talk about this system that just about everybody in some way affected by, but also benefited by. Can you explain? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people will say, hey, you know, particularly when we're talking about things like reparations for slavery, my parents, my family did never held uh, people enslaved. In fact, my ancestors came here long after slavery. Why should I have any responsibility for the reparations process? And when I try to help people understand, the book tries to help people understand if you've ever opened a bank account, if you've ever used a credit card, if you've ever bought car insurance, bought a car, bought a home or have a mortgage, then you benefit directly from institutions that were built on the backs and often the bodies of enslaved people. A lot of people don't know, for example, that Thomas Jefferson actually used the people he enslaved as collateral for the mortgage, for the debts that he owed. And that started a system of slaved back mortgages that built some of the biggest names in banking today. Everybody has some responsibility because either they were advantaged or disadvantaged by the systems that have built up in this country. And Clyde, just last week, California voted to offer reparations to the descendants of enslaved people. Uh, it's not as simple as just writing a check. I know you uh, believe that. But what is your opinion on what the government should be doing when they do, if they do, offer reparations? Amy, here's what I really believe. Back right after the Civil War, the Congress and President Abraham Lincoln actually agreed to a reparations plan. They allocated actually almost a million acres of land to the formerly enslaved that was under a program that some people know as 40 acres and a mule. A lot of that land started to be redistributed. Lincoln was assassinated. President Andrew Johnson, who came after him, rescinded the program, gave the land back to former slave owners. I think that's a great basis to look at how do you begin to compute a dollar figure that we might even wrap our heads around in terms of reparations. The country has tried it before. They need to follow, that is the country needs to follow through on that promise that was reneged for people who were enslaved. It's a great place to start right there. Dr. Clyde, we appreciate you. We Absolutely. appreciate the book. Thank you so much. We want folks to know. The book Blood of Blood and Sweat is available everywhere books are sold. Clyde, we'll see you down the road. All right, thanks so much. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.